or killed. Dozens unaccounted for as blood water inundates Colorado vertical line. Fox News. Fox News Digital Network. Fox News. Fox Business. You report. Fox News Radio. Fox News Latino. Fox Nation. Fox News Insider. Login. Account. You're logged in as profile. Log out. Search site. Listen to Fox News Radio live. On air now. On air personalities. Home. Video. Politics. U.S. Opinion. Entertainment. Tech. Science. Health. Travel. Lifestyle. World. Sports. On air. Previous slide. Next slide. Your weather. Weather news. You report weather. For killed. Dozens unaccounted for as blood water inundates Colorado. Published September 14, 2013, FoxNews.com. Thousands of Coloradoans were driven from their homes Friday as floodwaters cascaded downstream from the Rockies, stranding hikers and residents in rural communities beset by days of steady rain. Officials said at least four people have been killed and 218 others in Boulder County are unaccounted for, though officials said earlier that the unaccounted for figure doesn't necessarily represent missing people. The flooding has affected parts of a 4,500-square-mile area, almost the size of Connecticut. National Guard choppers were evacuating 295 people, plus pets, from the mountain hamlet of Jamestown, which was isolated by flooding that scoured the canyon the town sits in. Mike Smith, incident commander at Boulder Municipal Airport, said helicopters would continue flying in and out late into Friday night. Boulder County Sheriff Joe Pell told KDVR.com that although floodwaters have started to recede, officials do not yet know how many structures were lost. The outlook for anyone who'd rather stay is weeks without power, cell phone service, water or sewer. Essentially, what they were threatening us with is, if you stay here, you may be here for a month, said 79-year-old Dean Hollenboff, who was evacuated by Chinook helicopter from Jamestown, northwest of Boulder. For those awaiting an airlift, guardsmen drop food, water and other supplies in Jamestown and other small towns in the winding, narrow canyons that dot the rocky mountain foothills. Thousands of evacuees sought shelter in cities that were nearly surrounded by raging rivers spilling over their banks. One was Mary Ham, 62, who displayed a pair of purple socks as she sat outside the LifeBridge Christian Church in Longmont. There a memento of the more than 30 hours she spent in an elementary school in the flood-stricken mountain town of Leon. Many evacuees, eventually rescued by National Guard trucks, got socks because most of them had wet feet, Hamp said. She recalled the sirens flared at 2.30 a.m. Wednesday. Mary we have to go, this place is flooding, she recalled her friend Kristen Vincent saying as they clambered out of the trailer. And we stepped out of the trailer onto the ground where the cars were parked, and it already like this, almost to our knees, she said. It wasn't just sitting there. It was rushing at us. Soon the trailer, like others in the park where she was staying, was submerged. Ham said she walked up at hill the daybreak and surveyed the trailer park. The most terrifying thing was when I climbed up on that cliff and looked down. It was the meanest, most, I mean, no wonder it carries cars like toys, Ham said. I was so afraid that I was going to die, that water came so fast. The dazzling rush of water from higher ground has killed for people and turned towns on Colorado's expansive eastern plains into muddy swamps. Crews used inflatable boats to rescue families and pets from stranded farmhouses. Some evacuees on horseback had to be escorted to safe ground. Near Greeley, some 35 miles east of the foothills, broad swaths of farmland had become lakes and hundreds of roads were closed to war damaged by floodwaters. The 70-mile stretch of Interstate 25 was closed from Denver to the Wyoming line. Rocky Mountain National Park closed Friday, its visitors forced to leave via the 60-mile trail ridge road to the west side of the Rockies. It will be weeks, if not months, before a semblance of normalcy returns to Leon, a gateway community to the park. The town surrounded by sandstone cliffs whose color was reflected in the raging street. Vrain River, consisted of six islands Friday as residents barbecued their food before it spoiled. Several people set up a tent camp on a hill. Some 2,500 residents were being evacuated from Leon, but Hillary Clark was left walking.